well, momentarily in, in a moment. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment. Anyway, I'm back. Um, and we're recording. Yeah, so we're now going to do the second escape of the day. Um, this is After You, Level Escape. Again, short completion, storyline achievements, uh, 13 of them this time. But I'm thinking it's quick completion because there's like three or four chapters. Um, so if you're following a guide, it will be quick. But if you're not, then, you know, we may not finish this one. <laughs> no, you insist after me. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is developed by K148 Game Studio, published by Jandusoft, who did that Tempest um, Level Escape game. That was they published that Tempest one. That was really quite cool. Thank you very much to ID Xbox for the code for streaming this game. This came out May 11th, so a few weeks ago, May 11th, 2023. Um. It's available on Xbox One, Series X, Switch, PS4 and 5. Um, it is priced at £5.79 or $6.99. So, you are Aaron. Um, a man who wakes up in his room and realises that he's alone. Neither his family nor his neighbours are there. Um, from there, Aaron will begin a journey to try and understand what has happened. Um, after you, Level Escape is a game of puzzles included in the narrative. Um, they're not easy puzzles. You will not have help. help. You will not be able to save when you want. Its gameplay is based on exploration, reading notes and deduction to solve the puzzles. So, basically, it ain't gonna hold your hand, but hopefully it'll at least tell you when you're right. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah um, what else do I need to say uh, features three open locations to explore more than ten puzzles of diff diff different difficulty a main story and many little stories after you level escape is a slow and content con contemplative game you like narrative games with integrated puzzles which also have some difficulty this is your game um, so yeah sounds interesting um and oh yeah completion it's got a fairly high completion percentage as well um you find yourself in a dark room yes you awake find yourself in a dark room so we have to pay attention. Oh, this one's done in Unreal. Interesting. I haven't learned Unreal yet. I've been learning Unity. Ah, yes. When I say momentarily, I mean in a moment. <laughs> English. New game. No volume controls, so we'll have to see. But words can mean two things. How okay. Long have I been um. Okay, I'm 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 committed now. Yes, words can mean two things, like fortnightly and bi weekly. Chapter one, where is everybody? Okay, that is jump. Oh, hello. Ooh. The game only saves at the beginning of chapters. <laughs> yeah, because you want to get off. Um, keep this in mind before you leave. To solve the puzzles, you need to read notes. Be aware of your surroundings. I recommend you write down anything which may be a clue. Okay, so we're going to need some paper. Paper. Working pen. Always good. Interact to read. Family photo. Our son is on. 
away from Natalie. Me. Been in this village for many years. We came here as a couple, got married and raised our son. If I'm honest, I've not been happy here for a long time. And my son's departure to the university has only aggravated that situation. But as they say, it is the law of life. Okay. So interact is X. Jump is A. So, we can jump. I don't know whether that's a clue, but... That is what? Eight minutes past four? Whoa, okay. But I mean, Fortnite literally is two weeks. There's no other written meaning for that. But when people say bi-weekly, that can either mean twice a week or every two weeks, depending on where you are. Where is everybody? No, it's Aaron, the neighbours. <laughs> Couldn't work out what they thought a fortnight was. I don't know. Four nights, maybe? Um, it's always good to be specific. And if there's a word that can be ambiguous, you know, you know, instead of saying bi-weekly, say either twice a week or every two weeks, whichever you mean specifically. Um, well, if you, instead of a fortnight. Hmm? A video game for tweens. <laughs> good point, good point. When we arrived, there was practically nothing. We were full of illusions and dreams. It was exciting to think about the life we had ahead of us. Something that today has changed. What used to be the countryside is now full of bigger and bigger houses. I won't deny that I like the village to be more alive, the bar and having different people to talk to. But living together brings other problems. Our next door neighbours, Al Alexandra and Emma. Um, argue a lot to the extent that they've turned to the police for fear of getting hurt. The bar is where I go almost every evening. That's where I can get away from it all else. Natalie doesn't let me drink alcohol at home. Almost at the end of the street, there is the Yoshida family. From quite wealthy Japanese people who are quite nice and gentle, even though in the bar I've heard some complaints about the father of the family is bad drinking. Natalie works cleaning his house, and she's never said anything bad to them, to me about them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like a, a pride thing. Let's update the game? What? 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 I don't know what... What? What? Oh. <sighs> Thank you. I don't need, to, I was going to say, I don't need to update the game. I do need to update the game. You mean the game on Twitch? I just need to give you edit access. Hi, Jesse. Um, and then you can just update the game for me. <laughs> Photo of Natalie. I love photography. It's a shame I didn't get a job as a photographer cleaning. Uh, cleaning at the Shida's family house is not exactly my idea of a happy life. But I have nothing else. In this photo, you can see the door of our neighbours, Alexandra and Emma. When I took it, they still didn't live here, although it doesn't seem to have changed much. It's funny. The only photo of the village that I have. <laughs> well, I was just confused. There was context missing. My brain was tired. We're talking about fortnights. Um. <laughs> and by weeks. And I just got... I My brain is tired. I read, I was reading a proposal this morning and it said 2D, 2D artist, 5D engineer. And I was like, okay, well I get the 2D artist, but what the heck is a five dimensional engineer? And then I, thought, then I realized they meant two days and five days. And then I went to make tea. 
It's been one of those days. One of those days. Um. So yes, uh, it's the only photo of the village that I have, perhaps because it doesn't motivate me. Alexander is a strange person. He walks around the village barefoot. Um, he talks to himself, he shouts, he's ex-military and apparently has various traumas. It must be hard for both of them. Um, hi James! If anyone is else having problems, please let me know. I think it's working. There should be subtitles at the very least. Why is there a sausage in the toilet? Or is that a poop? If that's a poop, then that's gross. Oh good, there's a run. I was going, it's very slow! Note from Natalie, Aaron. When Eisen left for university, Aaron spent, started spending more and more time in the bar. To the point of having a problem with alcohol. So much so that I even got rid of our car, who once gave me a fright. At home I don't let him drink, but I can't stop him from going to the bar. We've argued a lot about it, but he doesn't seem to accept his problem. Okay. <laughs> la 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 la! Okay, so so far all I know is that this dude is an alcoholic. Uh, they have a son who went to university and the neighbours are weird. And there's possibly a poop in the toilet. So, hi James! <laughs> That's Tetley. Okay, well there's a car rammed into the fence. Okay, we've got various... It's a football. Various tools and a pretty layout. Um, I'm not seeing anything that I can, like, solve as yet. Whoa, okay, we triggered something. It's the Yoshida's car. What's it doing here? What what what's the slogan that you're talking about? Don't think I knew the Tetley slogan from twenty years ago. So that's Tetley. Does it still have the little weird little tubby guy with the hat that sort of looks like a dwarf? So far I don't know what I'm supposed to solve, but hey, we've, we've, you know, got some cars. nothing in that direction for miles. I need a vehicle. Okay, so let me need some cars. Some cars or some keys? No, Alexander the Knight, I haven't slept for a long time. Since I got out of the army, I feel out of place. As if I don't belong to society. Sometimes I think that somehow my mind stayed in that desert. When I came home, nothing was the same. Emma and I looked like strangers, and that feeling has only grown. 
During the day, I keep busy and don't think about it too much, but at night, the demons appear. Demons that don't let me sleep. They only remind me again and again of the things I saw. I don't think there's anything left of the old Alexander. Poor guy. Mind you. I bet he didn't have weird dreams about cucumbers. No, Emma. Alexander. Alexander has serious PTSD. Suffers from severe nightmares and behaves more strangely each day. Shortly after arriving from his last mission, he decided to leave the army, start to create shelter in our own home. He's become paranoid and manic. He goes barefoot everywhere, spends hours mumbling as if he were talking to someone. The truth is he's starting to scare me. Are we going to discover that we're dead? <laughs> is that what we're actually going to come out of this? Oh, that one's got toilet cleaner in. Good. And no poop. Possibly something in the shed. Ooh, okay. That's binary. Dogs locked in the shed. <sighs> now, Emma, I'm leaving after much thought. I've decided to leave this village. I'm not happy here. When Alexander was on a mission, I started to meet Ryo, a neighbour on the sly. Uh, first, it was just a game, but little by little, it got worse. Seeing that Alexander is getting worse and worse, I prefer to leave it to avoid creating more problems. I don't know how we react when he sees I'm not here. They won't stay to find out. Enter code to open. There's a little dog trapped in there. Okay, but I'm not seeing any immediate hint as to the code. So, for now, there's a dog in there. Ambulances and police cars. It's like, what the hell happened here? Um. <clears throat> but yeah, hopefully everyone's enjoying today. repeating what it says but you know
oven thing. Okay. Is it possible that Ryo that nothing in that There's direction. nothing in that direction for miles. I need a vehicle. I need to let the dog out. Good use of obstacles to try and There's nothing in that direction for miles. I need a vehicle. It's not a traditional escape room like the last one was. <sighs> Sorry, I now have the yawns. I think that's six four seven. I think the dog's barking and binary. The dog was barking in binary. <laughs> it, was it was just, just a loudspeaker. Loud Well, it was barking in binary. That was clever. No, Alexander, they will pay. My life has collapsed, Emma is gone. She did it without warning. But in her haste to escape, she left her diary. In it, I read that she had been seeing Ryo, that she had a family son for a long time. Do not understand how someone could do this and run away without any explanation? It's the fault of those Japanese damn rich people. They can do whatever they want with people like us, but they are very wrong. They're going to pay dearly. Very d dearly. Do they think they can laugh at me? They don't know what they've done. Oh, my stream alert thing did work. It just... took an hour and a quarter to work. So apparently... Dino bot is going through that thing again. Um, why is there a weird ass set of bunk beds in a panic room? And the drill. I picked up a drill. Ah. Maybe there's a whole thing where I gotta put the tool in the same place.
No. Okay. Well, I have a drill. The other things aren't flashing, so. Now I have a drill! <laughs> what do I do with the drill? <laughs> Maybe I can use it to get into the boarded up house. On this neighbour's house. Yes, I can use it to get into that neighbour's house. Oh, Jesus Christ. looking for me? Who are you talking to? Is this the pub? No, from Isabella. <sighs> Admit that I'm a little upset with the subject, uh, obsessed with the subjects of the Shadow Cross that Olivia always tells me about. I don't know what she means. She tells me almost every day at the same time. She has me fed up. She keeps on telling me the keys in the shadow cross. Places I can't access, like the little house in the back. Lydia says it's where the money is kept. Could have something to do with the shadow cross. Maybe what she wants is for me to discover the mystery to myself. I don't know where to start. From Olivia, Problems of Paradise. It's been a few years since I opened the pub. Ah, it is the pub then. And I've a few thousand stories to tell, and many of them are sad. I've known Aaron and Natalie since I arrived in this town. That time... Um, their son, Izan, was just a baby. They looked happy. Remember that they came with a typical welcome basket with their best smile to wish me and Isabella the best. Today, things are very different. Nappy hasn't been here for months and Aaron is here too much. Most of the time we have to limit his drinking because there's no end to it. The town's lost that magic it used to have. The kindness of the people no longer exists and it's been, become a place where people throw away their rubbish. This year, we've suffered three robberies. I'm glad that we've put a good security system for my back house. That's where we keep the money. Where is everybody? Oh, this has a different time on. Now it's like eight to six instead of four past eight past four. Note to Olivia, the, note to Olivia, the shadow cross. The shadow cross is the key. That's what I always tell Isabella to make fun of her because she doesn't know what it's about. I always bother with the same thing and she's obsessed with knowing what it means. <laughs> um, some Someday I'll unravel the mystery for her as I need someone else to know in case something happens to me. But it amuses me so much to see how she begs me that maybe that day will take too long. Um, before I forget, I must write it down somewhere. The wide green bottle... Is for reset resetting. The guy at the installation told me. Something to do with wine? Note from Isabella Hiroto. That's got to be Yoshida. Um, the rich men of the village usually arrange, arranges meetings with clients in our bar, but they often get out of hand. They usually hire prostitutes and bring drugs, but as they do everything in the rooms upstairs, we've never refused as they spend a lot of money. The problem is that last time that man tried to abuse me, and luckily after a struggle I was able to distance myself, even though that dirty old man didn't even apologise to me. 
But if it were to me, I wouldn't let them in anymore. I don't know if I tell Olivia, I should forbid them to come in, but that's the problem. It's not that too many people come to this bar without Mr. Hiroto and his meetings. It would cost a lot more to make ends meet. I guess I'll wait a little. Maybe it was a one-day thing. The man was so drunk that he left a key card. I guess from his own house. Where, though? Okay, there was potentially a key card somewhere. So it bothers me that the fridge is open. to update. They can do it later. Figure out where the shadow cross is, and then also where the key card is. Weirdly, the mirrors are reflecting clouds. Shadow cross might be. Could be a type of beer, but there's not really anything massively obvious. Ah, five, three, four. Five, three, oh, five, three, three. Possibly not anything. Possibly be something. A lot of things that could be a shadow cross. Not a lot of things that are interactable.
Everyone's very quiet all of a sudden. Well, not all of a sudden, for the last 20 minutes. You're full asleep. <laughs> Almost the laudable. Um, yeah, I mean, not <laughs> by the subtitles, but yes. I think everyone fell asleep. Can't see anything to interact with. got to be where we can use the key card we can find the key card and then we can get in the house but we've got to figure out where the interactable things are <sighs> so we've literally not even done chapter one There's no way to put it in. Is it important that that particular window is lit up and the other ones aren't? are all in the shape of a cross. Ceilings flickering. I think that's a glitch rather than a clue.
Use the shadow. Something about a wide bottle, so. to finish at least act one card.
Shadow Cross. Well, maybe it's something to do with the numbers on the jug. Okay. Because that is the shadow of a cross. So, 531. The only place I've seen that is upstairs. Okay, that made a noise. Ah, we did something. Mechanism has opened up. Is that the door downstairs? We got a bloop. Secret barcode. Aha, I've got the secret barcode. Hey, progress. That's the key card. Oh, it's safe. Can't open it, but we're not going to steal that money anyway. I mean, there's literally a window in the back that just looks open that could be easily shattered. Um, right, anyway, let's go over to the Yoshida house. Oops, wrong way. Now we figured out that. I have to get out of this town. Well, we need a car. Oh god. Okay, someone died in here. What happened here? Bear footprints. Police anonymous. You shoot a family murder. I've been in the body for years and I've never seen anything like it. There's blood everywhere. Neither I'm I know my companions are used to this. It's a very quiet town. At most, we have to deal with some drunk, and that's about it. But what I've seen here today will not be forgotten in my life. The murder has not only killed these people, but has separated them into pieces. This is an absolute Dantean spectacle. There's so much blood that you can see the root from the moment he entered, the place where the murderer took his life. We have cleaned almost the entire house of personal belongings, and I'm in charge of moving the vehicle to the police station. Something that does not make me happy. Okay. Bare feet. Well, it's obviously Alex went nuts and killed the family. You pink. Ah, there's a safe. If we can figure out that code. We need some context first. Hirito's note, insecurity. I like this town a lot, but I feel insecure because we're the only ones who have money. On the one hand, it's good because the prices are low and I can hold my meetings there. The girls in the bar let's do literally anything we want in the rooms upstairs. The other day, I went a bit too far with Isabella, I think her name is. She resisted quite a bit. Maybe if I offer money. I mean, not that I'm saying someone deserves to die, but that is low. I have to hire security. It's been a couple of nights since I've seen the silhouette of someone hanging around my house at night. I don't like that at all. In this town, there are people of very low status, like the ex-military man and his wife. How can anyone live like that? Good God, I'm not poor like them. I mean, not that I'm saying that people deserve to die. Certainly not a very good attitude. No, from Yoko. Ryo and Emma. I've seen our son, Ryo. Okay, so Hiroshi, Yoko and Hiroto Yoshida with a son, Ryo. I've seen Roko, uh, son, Ryo with um, Alexander's wife. This boy will give us problems, even more knowing that Alexander is an ex military man who is said to have mental problems. To talk to him before this goes any further. Our son needs a woman from a good family. That girl Emma must have approached him for the money. Otherwise, why would a married woman take such a risk? In small towns, you end up knowing everything. Ugh. Oh dear, pieces everywhere. 
kind of gross. I also realised that this game you can't turn off the motion blur head bob. So we are going to, at the end of this act, stop. Because it's making me nauseous and I can only do so much in one go. Note from Riot, Emma. I don't want to see Emma anymore. Alexander will find out sooner or later and honestly there are comments that he's crazy that I fear for my life. While I was aware I didn't mind sleeping with her but things have changed. I've told Emma but she's assured me she that he will not find out. What if she find what if he finds out? What will happen then? I don't even want to think about it. It would be better to leave this absurd relationship as soon as possible. Yeah, I'm getting very motion sick actually. It could be something as horrific as two, three, four, five, two, six. Be disgusting anyway. Anyone still there? Yeah, this, this. It's weird because it's first person and there's like slight hair bobby, f you know, thingy to the camera. It is, um, ah, I'm still there. Yay. So most of this is gross. Any idea what the safe code might be? You know, we've got absolutely no clues whatsoever, but, you know. <laughs> It's the saves at the end of the levels. I'm uh, sure there's a clue somewhere, but I'm not seeing it.
Just got an email. Ooh. Pooled storage, because I just have me, so that's going to be really relevant. Well, the only things I can see clue-wise is the body parts. Was it five, two, six? You see the route from the moment he entered to the place where the murderer took his life. Maybe it's two five six, which is to do with the order of the bits. Oh my god, body parts was the answer? That is disgusting. I picked up a key. What did I pick up the a key? Ah, oh, I remember car. seeing this. I remember seeing him in the street. Right, okay. That was disgusting. I just realized that it was probably the order I got wrong. Because I couldn't see any other clues. That's gross. I feel sick. There's nothing in that direction for miles. I need to oh, it was outside our house, wasn't it? Or something. Because they said, the Yoshida car, what's it doing there? Just a tiny bit of motion blur it makes all the difference. And I wish I could turn off head bob. After you love this game. Please save, please save, please save. Chapter one. Play chapter one. <laughs> The 
world is empty. To the gas station. I need to fill the tank or I won't get very far. Okay. Sorry. It did say it was going to save. So, load. Oh, good. 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 <laughs> So, I didn't actually mean to hit that. Um, what is this for? To do, to know. Okay, I, I know we only did an hour on that one. Probably slightly less than an hour, but that was one act. Um, and we figured out how to solve all the puzzles. Okay, it took a little thinking. Um some leaps of logic but uh, we got there but yeah it's making me feel motion sick because you can see can you see the camera moving slightly I know exactly what causes that I effect need to fill the tank or I won't get very far it's called noise um, but yeah it is painful for me right now so we can only do that game in small amounts um, but we got five achievements Completed chapter one. So there's two more chapters left. Assuming that unless... Okay, maybe add an epilogue or something. Some more codes to discover. Um... But that's me done for the day. Um... Yeah. It's a free, free form schedule this week. Because I just, I don't really know, I don't really have plans. It's going to be a what I decide to play on the day type thing. Though I, I'm co-streaming an Artifacts Mundi game with Jesse Tuara. Um, so that's technically already decided. Um, hopefully it's one of the short ones. <laughs> um... No! I've just I've been waiting to play this game for a while. <laughs> it's been sitting on my backlog staring at me. No, we were playing playing the Artifacts Monday game. We were supposed to play it last week and then you were sick, which is not your fault, but we need to play this game. Because I'm behind on my pointing clicks. So we are playing Artifacts Monday game tomorrow. <laughs> and I have to go and stretch because my neck is tired. Um and then yeah, I don't actually know what I'm doing thursday or at the weekend uh but that's june that's next whole month so maybe we'll be <laughs> um maybe you know there'll be some random to do list informing what we play what i play um or well, maybe it'll be what i feel like um, excuse me i've not gone tired Maybe that was a sign, actually, with the motion thing. I don't know, but that, yeah. I feel vaguely nauseous. I'm going to go and have some carbs set on my stomach. Um, but yeah, so thank you very much to ID at Xbox for the codes for those two games. Um, we finished the first one, and we did a third of this one. Um... Obviously, if you know the answers, this one's a real quick one. Same with the other, but, you know, I feel... Vindicated that with some thinking um, we figured things out and I like always like to know why you know the answer is what it is rather than just like you know blindly following guides and being like I don't know how that code got that code was the code um, it's like looking stuff up because I'm stuck and it goes the answer is XYZ and it's like yes but how where do you find that thing? And then never tell you. And then, you know, it's like, well, I know the answer. Let's try and reverse engineer it. Um, it's like there was a, was it a cheering test or something? There was like a door which I didn't know how to open. 
Someone told me that there was a code for it and it's like, yes, but where? Because <laughs> I'm not just going to randomly put a code in. I want to know where you find it. Um, but yeah, it was a cool game. Um, it was a cool game. So yeah, so tomorrow, co-stream with Jesse. Um, Thursday something, Saturday something, Sunday something. We'll see. Um, no giveaways this week. Or at least non not non non-official ones. Um, if we get enough viewers, someone could trigger one, but no official giveaways because uh, well, possibly at the weekend, but unlikely at this point. Um, so I don't have any other code things lined up. Um, I'll be honest, I've been tired, I haven't done my usual scouting. Um, but yeah. That was after you level escape. We had Pandoran Syndrome, which we finished. I am going to go to bed. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for the help, specifically, as well. Um, and, yeah. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Catch you later. I've been Joe, otherwise known as Angel SK. Um, ID is doing um, Plant of Lana. I have they just started or they're an hour in? Time zones are weird. I think they're an hour in. Yeah, so we'll just drop everyone off at the ID stream. Um, but yes, I've been Joe, otherwise known as Angel SK. Have a great rest of your day. Catch you later. Bye.